Vlog. It's time for London Vlog. What do you think? It's been a while. It's birthday week. So that's going to be things from what I did for my birthday. I'm going to take you with me as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope it'll be fun. I'm at Selfridges. It's my birthday. Yay! I love my birthday. So I've got the day off, which means I've got time to do a bit of me time in Selfridges. Of course, you're coming along with me. So let's see what we can find today. First up has to be Fendi. As you can see, I've already settled in. There's my bag of the day, the come on bag, the coffee and the biscuits and the umbrella because it's raining. Ah, and here it is you guys, the latest Fendi bag, the flip bag. I've been wanting to have a little look at this one. When the Fendi flip bag is folded, it's a bit like a clutch, which is what we saw on the runway. Uh, the colorway here is lovely. The Fendi flip bag extends to a tote bag. I do worry a little bit about the flatness of the bag, but it is nice. I showed you some of these uh, current collection clothing in a previous vlog. I will link that below in case you missed it because there are more close up details in that particular vlog. Whilst I'm here, I might as well take the opportunity to take another look at this gorgeous mini baguette in this beautiful light blue which is driving me insane. Is it however better to get the larger baguette in this lovely napa leather in the light blue? Oh, the decisions are too hard. Yeah, I know I'm super predictable. <laughs> I had to look at this little mini beauty again as well. Love, love, love this multicolor baguette. In my previous vlog, I tried this beautiful cape in the traditional brown black colorway, and here it is in this lovely light color. I do like this light blue denim. The jacket and the skirt are both super cute. I love, love, love the Fendi Graffy too. <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, a little nano in this and uh, this blue is lovely, you guys. And here are some of the new trainers. The Calibri heels in the light blue, the yellow and the brown. And last but by no means least, this beautiful peekaboo in the grey. And look at this birthday surprise you guys, Fendi gave me these beautiful flowers. Aren't they stunning? Let's see if there's anything else that we need to check out. Garnier's got some bags out, I've not seen these before. There's this pink and a kind of a light beige. Quite cute and very good price point. Now what do you make of this Shibonshi Antigona 
which has got a pair of trousers that opens up. What do you guys think of this design? Cut Gaia always brings out some really fun clutches and these are no exception. Look at this intricate clutch with the leaves on it. And the pearls and then this kind of bubble design. They are fun, I think. And there's also this silver number. Yeah, I mean, they are cool. I think they are really, really cute. This looks to be another new bag from Marc Jacobs. Yeah, a satchel bag. And we've also got the duffel. Of course we do. In the pink. And there's a white just behind it. And there's a green and a black. Or is it dark grey? I think it's black dark grey. Uh, yeah, this green is rather cute. And of course, it's a very good price. Just arrived at Claridge's, so I'm just waiting for my husband to arrive. It's a miserable rainy day here in London. Nothing to do with my birthday, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so I'm just waiting for him. So I had to seek refuge here in the foyer at Claridge's. Oh, much better. I was getting really soaked, you guys. Oh, yeah, it's not much fun doing shopping when it's raining like this. So, unless you're inside of Selfridges or something like that. But... We've got another place next to the fireplace. Not that it's cold, but it's very cosy. I mean, how stunning is this foyer at Claridge's? Love it, you guys. Can't wait for afternoon tea. So excited. Just brought the sandwiches, they're looking rather delicious. They brought me a happy birthday little cake. Delicious! And here are the lovely delicious cakes. I doubt we can eat them though, but we know we can always get a takeaway box if we can't. The afternoon tea was exquisite. Highly recommend. We're just killing some time, you guys, before the theatre in this nice little park next to Embankment. And there is the Savoy Hotel. We're now outside of the theatre. Yay! Looking forward to see Cabaret the Musical. Jake Sears from Scissor Sisters is in the lead. Very excited to see him. I will let you know all about it, but I doubt I can film inside. So the lowdown on the Kit Kat Club last night, it was a bit late <laughs> when we got out and obviously dark. We were tired, but what did I think? So obviously we couldn't uh, film inside or to even take photos. They put like a little sticker in front of our cameras on our phone that was part of the entry requirements, which is the first I've seen like that, to be honest. But you know, fair enough. So we had a, like a pre, I think they call it the pre-entree package which meant that before the show started, that we were kind of taken into this like little room where we had a, a waitress that gave us some snacks, uh, a little bit of champagne, lovely. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, just it was 
us and a few other couples really so it was quite it was quiet <laughs> um, which is unlike the show to be honest but yeah that was very nice and then when we left that room we were taken through these like little uh, corridors uh, essentially and there was like actors um, playing uh, singing and dancing it was like a a jolly 1920s 1930s party really there were also some people who were wearing costume which i thought was uh interesting and then when we got into the theater itself the uh, musical cabaret is set in the round so you're kind of uh sitting around the stage and they've uh it kind of goes up and down the stage and rotates which is very uh, cool and it's very flamboyant, a very artistic production, I would say. Costumes are daring. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously the storyline, if you've seen the film Cabaret, um, it's a little bit dark. It's obviously about a pretty dark time in our history, around just before you know, political turmoil of Europe, really, and the world. So it, it can be a hard watch sometimes, I would say. But the production was excellent. And yeah, if you get the chance to go, I recommend it. Though I will say the tickets are pretty expensive. So yeah, make, make a little bit of a judgment call on that because they are expensive especially if you want to be in the stalls quite close to the stage we were at a like a little table so we could have drinks at the same time so that was lovely i enjoyed it a lot my husband was a little bit on the fence so <laughs> i think it might divide opinions uh, so i would really recommend if you're considering it coming to london and wanting to find a great musical or play to consider it it's an experience and yeah the music is great the acting was lovely uh, great <laughs> and no I really enjoyed it so I would recommend it but it's not going to be for everybody there are some yeah some scenes that may not be for all audiences it's definitely not something for uh, kids <laughs> it's an adult show so yes, I'm now just close to St. Martin's in the Fields, which is a, a lovely church. And it's got a crypt that you can go down and have coffee and have a nice time away from the crowds. So most London museums, the permanent collection is free to go and have a look at, and then you pay for special exhibitions. So yes, there's loads to do for anybody and you don't really have to spend a fortune, which is also really great. And there's the National Portrait Gallery. It's this building that spreads across here. It's quite big. And obviously the National Gallery is just around the corner from here. And if you walk further along, you will get to Leicester Square. There's so many portraits and paintings in this gallery. So this is just a very little glimpse for you guys. No visit to the museum is complete without a little break for lunch and a cocktail. So we stopped off at Larry's, which is a new destination here at National Portrait Gallery. It's another rainy day in London. So I'm continuing my birthday shenanigans uh, here in London town. And today I'm going to go to Battersea Power Station. So I'll show you around a little bit. I have done a vlog from here before, but it's a little while ago. So I thought, let's see what's different. Is there any evolution here that we need to know about? Uh, Battersea Power Station is one of the new kind of shopping destination in London so and I'm meeting with a friend of mine and uh, we're going to have some lunch so yeah it's going to be a ladies day 
So on this side, in terms of fashion, we've got Massimo Dutti on this side. And we've got some eateries down there. And Sarah Home and Sarah, which looks to be quite a big store. But we're going through here. The light festival, the light battle. It's an artwork where you need to pedal and uh, the lights turn on, I think. <laughs> Yeah. So this section looks to be the place where all of the watch brands have descended. So we've got Rolex, Cartier, watches of Switzerland. And I saw on the other say, side here, uh, Omega. And uh, yeah, so that seems to be what's at this very level. We've got a bit of a Joe Malone situation down there and Adidas. It looks a bit like we've got more shops than when I was here when they first opened, so that's great. Uh, and there's quite a few people, so that's a good sign. So uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to see some interesting things. Um, in any event, I will share what I, I see or what I can capture, so you can get an idea of what it's like here at Battersea Power Station, if you fancy visiting at some point. So I'm in Turbine Hall A, level UJ, so you can see it is on several levels. It really is a very impressive building and I'm so glad that they preserved it and made something of it because it was at risk of getting uh, pulled down at some point. So it's great to see that we've got this new space here in London. There's also a giant Apple store, which might be of interest to some of you. And we've got Ralph Lauren, we've got Gantt, we've got Lacoste. The Coupels, Mulberry, Ray-Ban, Reese. So, all of the usual brands, I think. This bar is pretty cool. And below it, we've got Abercrombie Fitch. We've got Levi's Bars. Uh, Northwest. And a few other shops. And there's a big cinema. The windows you can see up there are for the old control room. Apparently you can rent it out for special hire. So what did I get for my birthday, you guys? First of all, these beautiful flowers from my husband. So if you have followed my channel for a little while, you know I love stationery. So of course I got a little bit more stationery, a little notepad, which uh, I think I'll put in the kitchen. And second up, a little box from Fortnum and Mason's. Inside are these beautiful macaroons. I think we might have to have them for our tea. Aren't they stunning? I hope they taste as good as they look. Also, <laughs> Sparks, what are you doing? You are interrupting filming. Hello, stop that. <laughs> also from Fortnum's, uh, I got this lovely tea. It's called uh, Repose. It's a botanical infusion tea. And of course, if you know Fortnum and Masons, you will, just like me, appreciate the beauty of their packaging, which, um, yeah, it's just stunning, isn't it? Beautiful design, and obviously you can reuse these tins. If you have followed my channel, 
and you've watched some of my, I think, beauty unboxings or present unboxing, uh, this particular brand, Aromatherapy Associates, is one of my favourites for every day. Um, they've got fantastic products and my husband knows that. So he got me a few things. So first up, we've got this shower oil from Aromatherapy Associates. It's the Revive Oil. And it's just a beautiful product. I highly recommend it, you guys. I have talked about this before. And uh, yeah, this particular product I use every single day. So next up, the Deep Relaxed Sleep Well Body Butter. This is very good for, um, yeah, help you sleep if you've got troubles with that. Another product that both my husband and I swear by, in fact, is this Bath and Shower Oil Aromatherapy Associates. This is for deep relax, sleep and tranquility. And this is what it says on the back of the box. It's all about that well-being moment with the great essential oils that these products contain. And the second bath and shower oil that my husband gave me was this one for the morning. Uh, Revive Morning, which goes with the other shower oil that I showed you earlier. So yes, this um, is to energize and awaken you, basically. And um, yeah, I'm not really a morning person, which my husband knows. So these two products really help me get going in the morning. And this is what it says on the back. This one has got grapefruit, rosemary and juniper berry. Energising start to the day and it's all about that well-being moment. And this is the bottle and if we put them side by side, you can see that the colour is very different. So it is a very different formula. So yeah, so these are kind of the four products from Aromatherapy Associates. And there were also these two little samplers. So Deep Relax is the one I've, have, I've got already. But this one is the De-Stress for Mind. So we'll try those out. Typically, I take those little ones with me when we go away or something like that. And the other product that I got was this uh, Clarence Aroma Oil Tonic Treatment Firming and Toning. So yes, um, this was given to me by a friend and I like Clarence. So yeah, let's give this a go. And that product also came with a little pouch. It's a good thing that I love pouches. I use them for all sorts of things, for cords, you know, if you just need to carry your charger around or little bits when I put things in my tote bag so it doesn't get lost so yeah i can never have too many of these little pouches so that's super nice and then i got these cute earrings um a friend of mine purchased these in paris for me and they are super cute this kind of green dangling obviously just a bit of costume jewelry but i think they're super nice sorry for the disruption in the back she's still here you just don't want to leave me alone, do you? <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear. And in this little bag, which I love packaging, sorry to repeat myself, but if you love design and packaging just like I do, you will instantaneously know that this is a William Morris print, obviously a very famous designer who um, created the arts and crafts movement here in the UK. Um, and there's still a company based on their design, Morris & Co. And in this little bag is a little box. And this was a surprise, you guys. My husband said, this is a special gift. And when I opened it, I understood exactly why. Not sure if this is going to focus entirely because it's quite 
a shiny object as you can see it is a locket a heart locket in gold and as you can see it opens up uh, so there are two frames here and it closes very neatly and I absolutely adore it it's such a thoughtful gift from my husband and he purchased it at an antique shop here in London there is like a market called Gray's Antique Market which has got a whole raft of little stalls and uh, we've purchased different pieces of jewellery there in the past and he went there and found this for me and the story behind this of course again if you've uh, watched my channel you will know that in 2023 I had a bereavement I lost my dad uh, which means that I'm now without parents basically because my mum also passed away quite a few years back so I'm going to have a photo of my mum and dad in this locket yeah and I think it's just a super thoughtful gift and I love it absolutely adorable yeah I will treasure this forever I forgot to film an outro I'm so sorry you guys I really hope you enjoyed this little vlog celebrating my birthday in London town with a sprinkle of luxury shopping and some London sights. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that little thumbs up button and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you in my next video.